All right, we're back here with Dick and Dave. Uh, we're going to reset, do another cocktail from the keep. From what else Diego is going on at the keep, out. Diego? Uh, we're going to make another drink called the maple, which um, we infused uh, brown sugar, maple, and uh, cinnamon. Amazing. Then wow. it's mixed with uh, whiskey, oh, a good. little bit of pear juice. Pear juice? And it's like it's like a really nice winter, especially for for. Uh, for the winter. Well, oh my well, God. Pe pear is different in other places. Like sometimes when you talk to a Jamaican person and you say pear, they're talking about an avocado. Oh. So is oh. there avocado in there? No, no, no. It's or is it like an American pear? pear. No, like, a a pear. Yeah, like a bar. Like a bar. Like, like a bar yeah. Like a bar yeah. right? Well, yeah, right, right, right. Now, now I, all of our viewers fruits. learn something. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Thank you, Dave. Underrated. We keep it diverse. Starting, starting 2017 with uh, some education. And what is the name of this drink again? It's the maple. All right, you can get it down at the Keep, which is in Ridgewood. Dick and Dave are still here to share with us their weekend picks. Let's see another one, guys. What do you say? Oh, Pizza Mania, uh, King Pizza Records. Uh, they do this every year. They have uh, like a festival showing off all their cool new bands that they sign that are up and coming. You know, if you're gonna go, you can see one of these bands, and then you know, in like a year, you're gonna be like, hey, they got a best new music on Pitchfork. I right. guess I don't or like them anymore. Up. Or, right, no, I mean, I just it's, get it. just get it's, well, you know, it's like the can't. story of uh, living, you know, I, I had so many friends in, in bands uh, in Bushwick, and I yeah. uh, kept being like, they're going to make it, and I was like, oh, they... They, they got you okay. It's okay, though. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, on Friday and on Saturday, uh, Friday is at Chase Stadium. Great place, great venue, anything uh, Mets-related oh, is uh, usually going to be uh, endorsed by me. And then on uh, Saturday, oh, wait. Sunnyvale. Can What's you that? explain Shea Stadium? Because on New Year's Day, I had a friend who was at Shea Stadium the night before, and I was like, what? Shea so they, it was opened by a <laughs> number new. of people, including some uh, members of the band The So So Glows, right? who are oh, uh, Brooklyn, yeah, Brooklyn native uh, uh, punk band, and they love the Mets. And, you know, Shea Stadium itself closed and they opened their venue and they're like why not just name it Shea Stadium. It's the uh, champion of the do-it-yourself sort of right. venue yes, they scene. Are, they're one of the hats off to Shea yeah, Stadium. Yeah one of, one of the uh, yeah. last survivors of that whole kind of generation. Uh, so if, Hotel, if you get invited uh, to a uh, thing at Shea Monday. Stadium yeah, don't go just to, say go no to like actually go because uh, I was like I'm not going yeah. to Shea Stadium. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes exactly. It was confusing the first time I yeah. thought about it too. I see these no-name punk bands. I was like why are they not they're playing the parking lot? Yeah. Yeah. And then on Saturday, uh, there's Sunnyvale, formerly known as uh, Delinquency. A friend of mine helped open that place, actually, uh, and then he, it was, he went to New Orleans. Mm. It was so successful, he fled the city uh, <laughs> right. to I open a bar in, in, uh, in, yeah. in uh, New Orleans. But uh, Sunnyvale is a very nice place, so they're going to have the second night of the uh, Pizza Fest. Lay right. on us. Dick. Oh, so, yeah, so Mr. Dinah Night. So this is a, a, a celebration of the music of James Brown. Um, I don't know if you guys ever had the pleasure of seeing James Brown live before, oh, but I have. But it was older James Brown. Where? Or, like, when he had a paunch. And, but he was still, it was, it was for a after party for, I went to the Victoria's Secret fashion show at the plaza. Oh, did you? And then across the street, yeah, I was just so close. Like, it was like moisture <laughs> with some models. popping right. off. Like, you know, all the <laughs> one-namers. Oh, my God, it was beautiful, it was beautiful, it was beautiful, it was beautiful. Then the after party was across the street, and it was James Brown, but it was James Brown with the paunch. It was like James Brown, like. He was dipping, but not splitting. He was dipping. He was, he would get, like, he was thinking about doing a split. Then he thought better, and then he just did a, a spin. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, Still, um, on his worst day. On his worst day, he was amazing. Day. Yeah. And then one of the models put me upstairs to dance with them, and I was just like, I'm just not worthy. And Continue first of all, y'all too that tall. Path. I can't get nobody can see me. Y'all girls are too tall. So I just got out there. But yeah, so um, he's known as the hardest working man in show business and the Godfather. He got two names. That's dope. Yeah. I mean, come on. He's a Godfather soul and the hardest working man in show business. And that party at Friends and Lovers is going to be a musician celebration to him. And it's um it's good. He awesome. deserves it. He deserves it, bro. He and by the way, when he when he was um in his casket, remember his body went on tour for like a month? I yeah. do. His I body remember had Michael a tour. Jackson walked Michael up to the Jackson. casket and, and broke down. Christmas, yeah. Right. right. I don't know That's about that. I, I his joint was on tour for a minute. Yeah. We shouldn't I was like, come on, put that like the that. Recognize share Christmas, we should to celebrate the right. uh, death of James Brown instead right. of Christmas. Replace right. it. Let's cheers one more time to the keep and Diego. Thank you very much for being here for the Godfather Soul. Cheers, guys. Oh.